So I'm going to create a new document. And this is going to be the place where our body will be. Oh, you also want to be there. I'm going to name this body. And that should be 920. Height should be 800. Resolutions. Set true. Everything should be default. Hit OK. We'll get something like this. Fill this with black uh, color. Double click on the ultra ground layer. Now go to the blending options. <coughs> uh, I'm gonna give, give it a gradient, a nice gradient. So, and let's give it a gradient of dark gray color because uh, if you look at there, our whole website is full of gray color. But this time I'm gonna give it a gray, dark gray because uh, people can differentiate where our body is. So. I'm going to press control S and I want to save it in the images J body. Okay, now so let's come into the green room again and say insert a dip tag. Now let's say body the body the body the body. And I'm going to hit OK. And you see something here. Now let's create a new CSS rule. Okay. Give it a background. And go to the box. 920 by 800. I want to put it in the center. Auto. Auto apply. Okay. And you see it. <coughs> now, if you just uh, let's preview the browser, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. Everything is pretty good here, but uh, if you come at the last, you see Y Y. Uh, so this Y box, we have removed this bit. Our body has, has so much height that it has just because the background was for a limited stage, but our body has this broad stage, so it has gray white. But because it's a gradient, we cannot go to, uh, if you're using only the black color, what you can do is go to the page properties and change the background color to black, and if you just apply, you can see black color now. If I just click on this gradient and say apply, it happens, but uh, here I want some gradient. Okay, so it works, but it is now uh, uh, it is coming to the stage uh, here. It has no stage on the screen so I'll use it because this is a sample website. Or what can you do is go to the body and go to the box and reduce the size if you want. So it's uh, bigger for us. And now we are gonna like this is the It is saved as an index. Go S to save this. <coughs> now I'm going to say close all. <coughs> now, if you come on your desktop, you see your website, HTML, the index page, if you just double the index page, we have, but we want some other pages also. So, yeah. I'm going to say copy. I'm going to paste, paste. Now I'm going to name these pages. I'm going to rename this to about. I'm going to rename this to. Oh, okay, because these are pages which are present in every website. So it will be Green Weaver, HTML. I'm going to go to the about. And then about is going to more information with links and do too much what we want to do. 
Now in the contact page, in the contact page, we have this, I want to, I'll just remove this. And here I'm going to go and I'm going to go to the forms and I'm going to say insert form. And in this, I'm going to say insert a text field, ID name, name, done. Again, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to shift that because I don't know, I don't want to go so many down on it. And I'm going to say, you know, you'll see what I mean there. Email, email, done. You just see there, if I, if I had put this too much down, it would have died. So, now enter because we have to put in the comment area. I'm going to say, insert text area. Message, message. So, um, here you can uh, put your message, name and email. And this says in a value, let's say this, please write your message. Please write your message, if you can see there. Now, if this, you want to put this if, as a positive field, because uh, you'll not, you don't want to put it as a positive field. So, let it be a single line or multi-line. So, here. It is how many lines you can put in that. Uh, let's say this one and one. So if you just change it to hundred, hundred, it's gonna be too much big, too much big. So forty-five, pretty good. Forty-five. Let's change this to twenty. 20 again this is coming uh, this is coming pretty long let's say this 10 45 now we're going to create buttons uh, forms button name this button sub met submit and if it is written over here, just don't give it a label. And after that, give it a button again. Name this. Give it an ID. Reset. Change this button to reset form. And let's preview this in the browser. Okay. I will not tell you how to put the PHP script because this is the HTML tutorial and. I don't want like t um, increase the length of this tutorial and you'll get bored. Uh, you can search it on YouTube or I'll put a tutorial of that again afterwards. So just create this. Now F12 to preview in the browser. And if you just see there, uh, everything is fine in their place. And well, let's say my name is. Uh, design companies and write message whatever your message is control V control V control E write message now if you just click on the submit button nothing is gonna happen but and it's gonna reload the page now if you just fill this form and you follow wrong just click reset it's gonna reset for you so uh, this is a pretty much professional website you can create. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.